Hi, I'm Krista, the Curator of Education at the Illinois State Museum, Dixon Mounds. And today we are here with our Curator of Anthropology, Logan Pappenfort, who is going to tell you about indigenous food production and utilization. Hi, Logan. Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about indigenous usage of plants and animals around us. And so when we're talking about food utilization, it goes hand in hand with how we utilize our environment. And so when we're thinking about what is available to us in our environment, it's important to think about what's around you. When you're at home, when you open your fridge, what do you see? Do you see all these different types of foods and snacks available to you? Well, native people were no different when they looked over their landscape. So one of the most important things when we're talking about what plants were utilized is that there is also trade networks of maize or corn coming in around the same time. And that is the backbone of the agriculture during the woodland period onward for native people. But in addition to maize, you also had things like nuts, beans, squash, as well as plants and animals that were gathered and hunted. And so these, these foods were prepared in a variety of ways. They were eaten raw, roasted, boiled, baked, in some cases even dried. And so these were utilized in bread, stews, or other meals. But when you're making a meal for a large enough population, you need a large amount of food. And so that is what agriculture provided, whereas before, when hunting and gathering was the main way that people fed themselves, they only took what they needed. However, when you're growing your own plants, you'll have what we call a surplus, or an excess amount of materials. And so that's where archaeologists see things like storage pits. So storage pits essentially are pits that were dug in the ground to keep seeds and other materials fresh for the hard times in the winter. And that's where you have situations where various types of seeds or corn or anything else was dried for preparation for that pit. Now, when we look at an archeological site, we see not only the storage pit, but we see things like deer draws and shells. And these were utilized for essentially removing the seeds from the corn. And so this is a very important part of the year-long process for Native people because you would have your summer hunts and your plentiful period, but then you would go into the harder times, which would be the winter. And so these storage pits were vital to surviving these winters. And then when the spring comes is when there's a renewal and we can utilize and feast on these foods in a more unrestricted way. But when we're looking at the archaeological record, we have to look and interpret that using a small amount of what we're seeing. And so we have to recognize that these shells, these bones, along in association with these storage pits, are important. And so we do that not only by looking what we see with our eyes, but also talking with our tribal partners and understanding the contemporary usages of plants and animals even to this day. And that is one of the truly rewarding aspects of what we do here at Dixon Mounds. Thank you, Logan, for sharing that information. And thank you for joining us today.